41, a bright future for some young local innovators. Indeed, two students from Las Vegas and Henderson just won the Explore National STEM Challenge. Kamari Ascara joining us live to highlight some of those inventions. It's really incredible what these kids are doing. Kamari, good morning. Heather, John, good morning. Certainly. Now, we know solar panels are pretty popular here in Las Vegas. They help people to save money on their energy bills. But what if solar panels could be more cost-effective cost and also environmentally friendly? Well, Noah Lee, he is working on that right now. Noah, tell us a little bit of how you came up with this concept to better solar panels than what the ones we're using today. So coming from the great state of Nevada, uh, solar energy is really a center of what our um, city, uh, our state does. Uh, Nevada is actually one of the leading producers of solar energy in our nation. But it's also good to know that solar uh, panels also produce 350,000 metric tons of waste a year. And my project pretty much uh, uh, had the goal of just trying to eliminate that. So through the use of polymers or synthetic based materials that are like plastics, as you may know, scientists are able to manipulate them to make them semiconductive and also biodegradable, which is really key for application for some solar panels. And through the use of graphene electrodes or the use of graphene or 2D material, scientists will be able to make more efficient but also biodegradable solar panels. And I understand this is something that you're still researching and working on, uh -huh. but in the near future, do you anticipate people getting rid of their solar panels they have now and replacing them with these newer ones? Uh, yes, actually it's through the use of like polymers and uh, carbon, uh, graphene which is made out of carbon, a very one of the most abundant uh, elements in our universe. Uh, people will probably, these solar panels will not only be cheaper, but they'll also be more uh, convenient for people because they'll be flexible and also much thinner. So they can be put on like any surface, like on your walls, on your, even on your like wrist or something, and it'll be pretty much be able to put anywhere. Incredible. Well, I bet people love that. More cost effective and convenient. Heather, John, what amazing work these students are doing. They'll also be heading to Washington, D.C. next month to showcase their projects to top government and leadership officials. We wish them the best of luck. We're going to send it back to you all in the studio. Wear, did he say wear them on our wrist? I think he so did. So going to wear a solar yeah. panel. A solar panel. We're going to be, yeah. We're going to be illuminated, Nate Tannenbaum. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty cool. As we should be. <laughs> <laughs>